Now let's have the second part of the discussion we're in. We're looking for geometric means. Now when we say geometric means, these are the terms between any non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. Now we have here an example of geometric sequence, which is 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, 1 over 32. Now, uh, let me first give you an equation. Um, the geometric means between 1 half and 1 sixteenth are 1 fourth and 1 eighth. As long as the terms are between all of the non-consecutive terms. Let's have another. Between 1 eighth and 1 over 32, the common, I mean the geometric mean is 1 over 16. So that's how we illustrate this geometry means. Let's have example. Insert four geometric means between 1 over 27 and the 288. So to illustrate the problem, the given is find or insert four geometric means between 1 over 27 and 200. So picture of the problem, it will be like this. Okay, four geometric means between 1 over 27 and 288. So to solve for the geometric means of 1 over 27 and 288 class, we're going to find the R in the geometric sequence. So the geometric um, formula again is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So in order for us to get these numbers, these four numbers, we're going to need the common ratio to multiply to 1 over 27 to get the second term and then we multiply again the r with the second term to get the third term and so on. So for this problem, let's write first all the given information. Mm. Here we have a sub 1, which is 1 over 27. And since the last term is given, that will be our a sub n, 288. The last term is always your a sub n. Now, since you have used a sub n at 288 as your a sub n, you're going to assign the n depending on the order, the term of 288. Well, in this case, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, 288 happens to be the 6th term. So, meaning to say, your n here is 6. And we're going to find plus the r. Okay? So, with this, the given sequence, let's substitute now here. And let's solve for r. So, this will be a sub n. Again, is 288 equals the first term which is 1 over 27 times r is we leave that as r raised to n minus 1 in this case n is 6 so 6 minus 1 so this will be 288 is equal to 1 over 27 r to the fifth power now since we're solving for r we should remove the 1 over 27 by multiplying both sides by the recipro reciprocal of it. We all know reciprocal of 1 over 27 is 27. So we will multiply both sides by its reciprocal. So cancel this now, leaving only r to the fifth power equals 27 times 288 is 7,776. Well, in this part, we're going to need a grade 9 discussion wherein for us to remove the exponent of the term exponent. Well, this is raised to the fifth power, meaning to say fifth root then. Okay? So if we have this as fifth root, of course, the other side should be fifth root also. Okay? To equalize. So this will be cancel, then R is equal to the fifth root of 776 which is equal to 6 and that is now the common ratio now 
With this, we can now find this by multiplying each in the first term by r, which is 6. So for us to get the second term, we multiply the first term, a sub 1, by the common ratio. So that is 1 over 27 times 6, which is 2 over 9. Then, to get the third term, we multiply a sec the second term by the common ratio again. So, in this case, 2 over 9 times the common ratio, which is 4 thirds. And then, um, with this, uh, let's continue. So, this one is 4 thirds. The fourth term is the third term times r, which is the third term is 4 thirds times 6 is equal to 8. And then the fifth term is a to the fourth power, a sub 4 times r, which is equal to 8 times 6, which is 440. Uh, 8. And for you to check that that one is correct, you should multiply 48 by 6. The answer must be 288. So, 48 times 6 is, we all know it's 288. So these are now the four geometric means. Second example. Insert one geometric mean between 54 and 24. Insert one geometric mean between 54 and 24. Okay. So with this class, let's have, we all know a sub 1 is equal to 54. And then your a sub n here is the last term, which is 24. And that happens to be the third term of the given. So n must be 3. So let's find your r. So using the general term of geometric sequence, this will be um, a sub n is 24. And then a sub 1 is 54. And then r is unknown so we we'll leave, leave that as r raised to 3 minus 1 so this um this will be 24 then 54 r squared so we there divide both side with 54 cancel this leaving only r squared um, 24 divided by 54, we just reduce that to lowest term, and that is 4 over 9. And again, to remove this, this one, extract the roots by the reciprocal of this, which is 1 half, so this will be square root. So, r now is equal to 2 thirds. However, this one is squared, so we should consider both factors, I mean roots, which are positive two-thirds and negative two-thirds. Why do we consider both positive and negative? It is because even if we consider the negative, um, the given will not be changed. So in this case, if you do have, if you're looking for one geometric mean, you should have the two um, common ratios to have two answers also two geometric means okay so in this case if i'm going to have positive two-thirds the next number is 36 okay i repeat it is a sub 2 for us to get the second term a sub 1 times r so this one um, a sub 1 is 54 then times two-thirds it becomes 36 so we need to say class, you should multiply 36 by 2 thirds again and let's see if the answer is 24.
well, 36 times 2 thirds cancel giving only 12 12 times 2 is 24 still the answer is positive what if we consider class um, the negative a sub 2 is equal again to r1 a sub 1 times r which is 54 times negative 2 thirds which is equal to negative 36 so the common ratio here i mean the, the geometric mean can also be negative 36 we should include the positive you okay let's see if the answer for the third term would still be positive 24 even if we consider class the negative two-thirds let's see negative 36 times negative two-thirds will cancel this leaving only 12 12 times 12 12 times 2 is still positive 24 so still um, negative two-thirds and positive two-thirds are correct as your common ratio so this one is the common ratio and these are the two geometry means third example insert three geometric means between five and four of bed five the third problem states that we should insert three geometric means between five and 405 so this is the illustration of the problem so with this we all know a sub 1 is 5 where a sub n again here is the last term given which is 405 and then your n here is first second third fourth fifth so that your n is um, 5 because 405 happens to be the fifth term of the given so we feel we will find the common ratio so this is a sub the general term is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 so substitute all this we have 405 is equal to the first term which is 5 r raised to 5 minus 1 so with this divide both side by 5 leaving only r to the fourth power it is because 5 minus 1 it's 4 then 405 divided by 5 is 81 so do the same thing to cancel this get the reciprocal and extract the roots so fourth root fourth root so it will be cancel leaving only r and fourth root of a to one is three so with this we have now common ratio so we cannot find all this a sub two is equal to the first term times r and that is 5 times 3 which is equal to 15 so that's our second term so to get the third term we multiply this now 15 by 3 and that is 45 and then to fourth term we multiply this by 3 and that is 135 so let's see if 135 times 3 is okay 405 so that is correct so these are the three geometry means